I'm Julia Silverman. I am the programming director for Socket. I helped develop this, it's a soccer ball generator. So inside the ball, there's actually a mechanism that stores energy so that when you play with the ball, if it's in a game, if you're doing taps or dribbling by yourself, it actually stores the energy of when you're playing and you can use it later as a power source. So if your home does not have electricity, if you need extra power for a lamp for reading or to charge your cell phone, the socket is there and that can help. The reason we decided to use soccer is because everybody is enthusiastic about it, everybody understands it. Um, it's a very accessible idea, so that's why we started with soccer. There were quite a few challenges. One was was getting people to dream with us. Um, none of the girls that were working on this project are actually engineers, so that was quite a big issue. But um, I think that that our lack of experience in the field was actually an asset ultimately because it allowed us to have a bit more imagination. We said this is something we want to keep doing, this is something we want to keep on developing even though if I were an engineer I might say you know it's not enough energy. Uh, all of us have traveled pretty extensively in, in um, resource poor areas so we knew that just a little bit of electricity would be enough to make a difference. If you have to charge your cell phone you no longer have to walk miles and miles you can do it in the home uh, so that you don't have to walk through dangerous areas. The first version of the ball that we had, we made ourselves. It was just a normal soccer ball. We cut it open, put in a shake to charge torch. You shake it up and then it actually, the same sort of mechanism, that's what causes the charge so that you can use it. We put that inside a normal soccer ball, glued it in. The light was actually in the ball. Um, and it was very, very ugly. It wasn't pretty, but it worked. It was, it was enough to, to test. People have been almost universally really impressed, uh, especially kids. I went to to a township, Lavender Hill, in Cape Town, and the kids there just went wild, and they were like, "Why? Wow, it's so great. <laughs> when you plug in the light the first time, and they see it turn on, and their eyes light up, and it's a great moment. This is Nancy Casado reporting for Global Gold Media. This is our and my voice.